Hello you guys. So Chris and I are house sitting for our friends Tyler and Jahao. They are in Taiwan and Japan for Christmas and also New Year's. So they need someone to watch over all of these plants and then also their dog and their cat and their frogs. So yeah, we've just been taking care of their home for them while they're gone. So I did a tour for Jahao's plants a while back, but I didn't focus on their home. And I think their home deserves a video because it's super cool and it has so much character and thought you guys would enjoy it. So yeah, this is a little tour of their home. I think I'm gonna title this like mid-century modern home, but I think it's technically a modernist home, but it has a lot of features that feel mid-century modern, like the large windows and then a lot of wood throughout the entire house. First, I'll just talk about some standout features of the home, and then we'll go to the individual rooms. So one of my favorite features of this house are these ceilings. It's also at an angle. So even though this home is really small, I think it's around 500 square feet, it doesn't feel too small because of how tall these ceilings are. And then the wood is like a darker stain and it feels really warm in here. It's like a little cabin feel. I'm outside. <laughs> um, they also have these huge windows all across their entire house. So it doesn't feel too small because it feels like you're connected to the outside. Also, they have an amazing view. Um, I'm gonna go back inside now because I think that the noise from the highway nearby is uh, really loud for you guys. It's been cloudy all day, so it's hard to tell, but the windows really bring in a ton of light. Also, Jahao and Tyler obviously aren't here, but I did ask them permission before I started filming this video. Right here is the door. This is the entrance into the home. I really like what they did here with these bookshelves. So there are bookshelves that are kind of like framing the front door and then over their bedroom door and then over the bathroom door over here. And then they also have this philodendron heteraceum trailing along underneath the bookshelf as well. What I really like about this home is how much it feels like Jahao and Tyler's place. Like it feels very personal. Right when I entered this place for the first time, I could tell that they lived here. There are just so many little personal touches around this house. For example, these little tiny paintings, Tyler painted these. Like I said, he's an artist. He's really good at painting. I think he has a couple other paintings of his around the house and these tiny little paintings of homes are his homes that he lived in throughout his life and I like that they're all in this monochromatic blue color too. Also Jahao is Chinese so there's some like Chinese Asian stuff around this house as well. I really like this thing. What does this mean? Does someone know? And then here's some more art on their bedroom door. This little frog painting used to be Jahao's profile picture. I'm pretty sure it is a painting or a portrait of his frog sweet pea. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Here's Theo sleeping on the bed. This bedroom is pretty small. This is a queen size bed and it takes up most of the space in here. I believe this bed frame is just Ikea. And then I think this is Tyler's side of the bed. Um, he's using these old trunks, suitcases, like old suitcase trunks as uh, a nightstand that he stacked up. What are you guys doing? Ooh, chihuahua friends. Oh. She's pretty gentle. She's crazy, but she's gentle with Theo. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get different angles of the bedroom because it is a little bit smaller. But here are Tyler's paintings. They're paintings of Pokemon. It's pretty cute. Over here is some type of tapestry. I really like this. I like the colors and I like the fish. I really like fish. Again, here are those angled ceilings and then these windows up here that gives so much sunlight. And then once again, here is that mirror next to the window. And that is a super cool touch. I like that it's built in too. So whoever was making this home really thought of the light in this house. Here is their bathroom. Um, there isn't too much to say about the bathroom. The coolest thing about it is the wood panel ceiling and then also the skylight. You can probably hear it. It's raining right now, so that's the sound of the rain hitting the skylight window. Uh, it's raining like super, super hard right now. Okay, check this out. <laughs> I tried opening up that door to show you guys the rain outside, but then because of the wind, the door swung open and yeah, that's what you guys just saw happen. <laughs> 
Okay, so the door is right next to me and then this is what you see when you enter through the right. So yeah, obviously a ton of plants. These are all Ikea greenhouse cabinets, except for these three. This is an aquarium and then there's two other smaller terrariums right there. If you want to know more about the plants, you can check out Jahao's plant tour video. But from like a home standpoint, what's really cool about this area is how it provides light for the entire home. So all of these lights behind me are grow lights. They're all yellow warm toned lights and it acts as a light source for the home because they don't actually have that many lamps or light fixtures on their ceiling. So without all of these plants and the grow lights here, it would be really dark right now. I actually have control over all of Jahao's smart plugs. So currently on and here they are when they're turned off. It's pretty dark. So even though Jahao has a ton of plants here, I really like how it's all layered and tiered on each other. So it looks very dynamic. And even though there are a ton of plants, it doesn't feel too crazy. It's kind of like an organized chaos. So yeah, it's pretty impressive how many plants they're able to fit into a small space. And then there are even more on the side. Here is their living room. It's not really easy to record this area because it's very backlit, but here is their giant window in their living room, which overlooks the city. It's a great view, especially at night when you can see all of the lights and everything. Hi, Sam. They use these blankets here to cover up the cushions. And this is what Chris and I do as well at our home because it kind of just makes the couch look more interesting because it gives it some color and some pattern on it on an otherwise like very plain sofa. Something else that I really like about their space is that almost everything, I'm pretty sure like almost everything here is thrifted or found on the side of the street. I want to say this couch was found on Facebook Marketplace, but I'm not sure. And then here is their TV area. So this is the wall that is facing the very large window. These plants are very happy here. They frame the TV so you can kind of see where the priorities are. Also right here, they have this large mirror, which reflects all of the light back from the window. Very good touch. Without it, the space is probably a little bit darker. And it also makes it feel bigger because, I mean, mirrors make rooms feel bigger. So this TV stand is probably my favorite thing in the house. They found this on the side of the road. I can't believe it. And it has a lot of storage. So I know Jahao stores a lot of his um, plant supplies in here. Um, I think it's really heavy and Jahao and Tyler had a lot of uh, trouble getting into their car, but yeah, super, super cool. I love this. If they ever get rid of it, I call for dibs. So yay, the sun is coming out a little bit. Tyler is a content creator and he's just always doing a bunch of different stuff. I don't know really what his title is, but he works from home and this is his desk setup. He records a podcast. So I think that he does podcasting stuff on this desk too. It's honestly a really nice desk setup because the view is great and I would love to work here. Penny and Salem were just like licking each other. It's so cute. Then this door leads out to their balcony. We'll go out there later. We're gonna go to the kitchen slash kind of dining area. Also, I really like this broom. It's just made out of a bunch of little twigs and sticks, but it's very witchy. Dio. Over here is some of Tyler's stuff. This is a photo of him with Martha Stewart. He did a commercial with her and rightfully so, he has a photo of him and her together hanging in his home. Um, and then over here, these are paintings that Tyler did. This is a painting that he did of uh, one of Jahao's anthuriums. I think it's an anthurium regal. And then this thing is pretty cool. Jahao made an arrangement of these moths. I think they're called Luna moths. I have one of them at home as well, but it's not an arrangement. I just have one of them. So I'm pretty sure this is what they use as their dining area. It's either here or out on the balcony because there's a big table over there. Chris and I have been eating here on this countertop all week because it's been rainy and cloudy and it's not super nice to go outside. I think Jahao and Tyler put this here themselves. I'm not positive, but I think so. Feels like I'm at a cafe. And then here are Tyler's trash homes. 
that he makes out of trash. I think he has a whole series of it on his TikTok or Instagram. There's a lot of detail on each one, like the moss and the roofing and the paneling of the homes. Also over here, when you're sitting down, you can take in the balcony and Jahao designed the balcony really nicely. And you can see all of his potassium and some of his plants out here as well. And then over here is their kitchen. It's a pretty small kitchen, like it's very narrow, but with these high ceilings, it doesn't feel like super tight and claustrophobic. On this wall, I think this is a flower arrangement that Jahao made. I think, I'm not positive. Um, and it looks like his style of photography. So I think he also might have taken this photo. Jahao also does really amazing flower arrangements and he is looking into that as a career option in this new year. So that's pretty cool. I think Jahao's opening up a plant slash flower shop in downtown LA. And then there are these framed butterflies. I don't know what it is about this one, but um, it's like falling apart. And I kind of like that. Like the frame is all taped up and ripped, but yeah, it's cool. And over here in the kitchen, they have some more artwork. I think this is a photo that Jahao took of his parents. Um, Jahao's a really amazing photographer. This looks like one of Tyler's paintings. And then I know this is one of Tyler's paintings. It's a Chansey Donut. Yeah, he has a TikTok video about this. There isn't too much going on in this kitchen. I really like the Dracaena Reflexa right here. It fits really well. Um, it's gonna look pretty cool once it grows up taller and then up towards the windows that are all the way up the wall. I think they put the shelf here themselves. They can access like their coffee and their bowls and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the kitchen. They have two ways that they can get to their balcony. There's this door here, but then there's also one over there. I'll show you guys. Let's go out this way and then wrap around the balcony. Here we are out on one side of the balcony. Um, I can look in and I see Chris and Theo staring at me. But yeah, there's a lot of highway noise, but I kind of like it because it's sort of like white noise. And here is Jahao's bamboo wind chime that he made. It's pretty impressive. And then behind me and then to the right is the other side of the balcony. <laughs> Theo's just watching me as, I, <laughs> as I'm filming out here. So yeah, this is where we normally eat when we come over to hang out with Jahao and Tyler. They pull it out a little bit and then we can access the other chairs. Pretty sure this table set was also either found on Facebook Marketplace or found on the street. I really like it. I like that it's wood, but it's left out here in the elements in the rain and it gets really distressed, but it's like a very natural distressing. So I like that. I also really like these two chairs because they're painted. So this one is a nice dark green. And then this one is a blue and it really pops comparison to the rest of the table and the chairs. Then over here, Jahao has a bunch of plants. He has staghorn ferns set up on this side and then a bunch of other ferns too because ferns do really well in Los Angeles if they are shaded. So above me, there's a 50% shade cloth, I think. So he has ferns and then he has some other aeroids and house plants like uh, monsteras and begonias and philodendron and epipremnum. Behind me over here, he has this massive staghorn fern. I have a small piece of the staghorn fern at my house and he waters all of his plants out here just with his hose and it makes it really easy to water them because he can just spray his hose everywhere. And then here's the view from this side of the balcony. I really like how all these plants frame the side and then you see the view and yeah, it's just super cool. Okay, so yeah, that is the tour of this house. Let me know what you guys think. I love this place and they got really lucky finding this um, place in Los Angeles. I'll put Tyler and Jahao's social media down in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.